The sign that you love God is this, that you love your fellow man. And if you hate your fellow, your hatred is towards God. St. Ephraim the Syrian. Pretty simple. Um, that's obviously the commandment that comes from love your neighbor, um, you know, and do not covet his things because coveting shows envy, shows, you know, hatred, shows all kinds of things that are not conducive to, you know, loving your fellow man. So that gives a lot of, um, a lot of oh, disadvantage. Dis, disadvant <laughs> it's a disadvantage to both you and your fellow man, because obviously, um, you know, murder and suicide are things that aren't. Well, thou shalt not kill does apply to others and yourself as well. It's like I said, um, you know, the commandment of love your neighbor. So. Those are things that are obviously influential and obviously beneficial to not only us as men, but to God. Um, and that shows that if we can love each other, that shows that we can also love God because we are made in his image. So it's a continuous communion. It's a continuous um, chain of events, it's a continuous line through God. So, there is all that. And, you know, I mean, I'm talking about love in a different sense as well. When I say that, I'm not talking about all of the, you know, the way the diatribes that it's used nowadays through various means of, uh, of, well, <laughs> communication. Or campaigning. This is probably one of the better ways I can say it. Um, so there is there is that love for God, but also that love for each other and ourselves. Show it show so it reflects, and the eternal logos always is going to reflect throughout.